Right now, I actually am trying to complete the, I don't know what you call it, I guess the Super Slam or the North American 29. I never really intended to hunt all these animals, just as I hunted over the years, it has kind of taken me in that direction. So that uh, journey that I guess that I'm on turned my attention toward the Central Barren Ground Caribou, which now takes us to the hunt that we're on up in Nunavut. And uh, it's kind of cool because these hunts take you to places that you may never, or more than likely would never, go to in your entire life. And yet here we find ourselves up in Nunavut and not really knowing what to expect. Uh, we knew the weather was turning bad, it was going to get windy, uh, we'd probably have some snow in our upcoming future. After finishing our journey to the town of Baker Lake and settling in for a night, we woke up early to a cold, rainy morning. We loaded up the boat and set off in search of caribou. So we headed out on the lake, uh, not sure if we would come across caribou in the first five miles or the first 105 miles. certainly some danger involved you know you hit that water uh, you're you're not gonna make it out alive now, I don't know how far we traveled that day on this small V bottom boat but I know it wasn't five miles and I know it was closer to 105 miles and uh, we all were on the boat all day long just quietly crossing uh, I don't know if it was one lake or two lakes and how much of the river system but we went a long way so far that I wondered where we were going to end up that evening. It must have been 5 or 10 or 50 hours, I don't know, but it sure felt like 50 hours that we were in that boat. And all we had seen was rocks and tundra and water. And uh, I kept looking over at uh, Jason who was driving the boat and he seemed to have this look in his eyes like he knew where he was going. And uh, Finally, like I said, after a long period of time, we looked up on shore and saw some caribou. So the first bulls that we came up on, they weren't the size of the animals that we were out there for. It's funny, you know, with caribou, when you get into them, it's not just like, say, moose or something else where you may see one or two. Uh, with caribou, when you get into them, you generally start to see more, and that's how things turned out on this hunt. Once we left the first group of bulls and uh, cows, we ended up heading further north up the lake, and uh, it wasn't long before we got into some more caribou, in fact, some really, really big bulls. And we saw the caribou out there three, 400 yards, and uh, we're ready to put a stalk on them. Now, again, there's no trees, there's just rocks and maybe a little bit of undulation uh, to the terrain uh, for you to be able to move in on these bulls. And uh, it didn't take long into our stalk before these bulls said enough of this. They kind of knew what was going on. It seemed as though they had an idea of what we were up to. And they, they took off and put some ground between us. So the chase began and we started crossing the tundra and the tussocks. We finally closed the distance to about 300 yards and we found a spot to get set up for a shot. Made a good shot on him and a, another follow up and my bull was down. Uh, shortly after uh, we had my bull on the ground and we were making our way toward him, the other bulls, as often happens with caribou, started to circle around and offer us opportunities. And uh, I kept looking back at Blaine, knowing Blaine had a tag, and uh, he kept looking at me like, hey guys, you know, I, I, can, I can get this bull.
We could all see the tips of their antlers bouncing across the tundra as they were headed our way, but when they finally came over the horizon, I had to make a quick adjustment and switch to a kneeling position in order to raise the gun up off the ground enough to gain a clear shot. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. Watch it, it's going down, watch it. Stay on him. Yeah, it's going down, it's down. Seeing that central barren ground caribou up close and personal for the first time was such an amazing moment. They truly are one of the most beautiful animals that I have ever seen in my life, and they inhabit one of the harshest environments on this planet. I got a central bearing ground and a few minutes later Blaine uh, took his. He took a real giant and I took a nice uh, beautiful representative uh, bull of the species and uh, couldn't be happier. We're a long, long, long way from home and don't even know where we're sleeping tonight but uh, we got a lot of work to do and uh, a couple cool bulls on the ground. This hunt that we were on was a combination. Blaine and I both had permits for caribou as well as muskox. 